Hey everyone, what's up? Newbie Snake here. How are y'all doing today? All right, so in this video, I'll be going through all the news that are related to the SNB events. I'll first go over the new SNB election, then I'll go through the seven SNB units that just got their six stars versions, and then go through their respective ninja gear towards the end of this video. So let's get started. All right, so first up, we have this new SNB event. So this time, instead of voting for Kunoichi's or shinobis we are voting for the best famous scenes all right uh that happen in naruto shinobi or i mean naruto shippuden or naruto overall in the anime okay so this smb election this time is for the famous scenes that happen okay so this election will go from november 28 15 o'clock all the way to november 5th 14.59 Japan's time. So this event has already started for uh, two days. Uh, well, third day by now in Japan's time. So I've already missed up three days of um, of uh, good stuff. All right. So basically, much like the previous two SMB elections, if you vote daily, you will be getting one ninja stone. All right. So if you haven't been voting like me, you have already missed out on two to three ninja stones. Okay. So every single day, all you need to do is click on this page. All right. So let's do this all over again. Click on the new section over here. Right. Uh, sorry. Second one. Click on the second one. By the way, the premium mileage two times uh, is in effect right now. The double premium mileage points but anyways uh, i'm not gonna go talk about that all right and then click on this smb uh part okay so click on news click on smb and boom you're here so every single day scroll down to one of the six scenes i'll talk about that uh soon and just click on the vote button all right the the yellow one is the vote button just vote every single day so you at least get one gem per day all right so much like the previous two smb um events every single day when you vote you will get one gem as a reward and every single day you will have more and more tickets okay each day when you log in you will get tickets and if you uh complete part of the challenges uh that are within the game uh so for example if you click on this over here challenge I went through these before, okay? But anyways, if you click on the special ones, if you complete these challenges, you will get more tickets, okay? So the first is uh, through daily logins. Second is through doing your daily challenges. Third, you'll go to the premium trading shop and trade for all of the tickets there. I believe there are 25 tickets in total or 35 over at the trading shop because I've already purchased all the tickets. If you haven't done so, go to your... Uh, uh, actually not premium mileage trading shop sorry regular ninja mileage trading shop then you'll be able to get all the tickets okay so get them and this is the second or your third method all right so i'll go through all of them and go back to the news so over here in order to get three extra snb tickets you will need to clear a regular mission five times that's your story missions just clear uh story missions five times then boom you'll be able to get uh three tickets all right. So again, you have to complete all of these before December 4th, 2159, because the event ends on December 4th or 5th. Right. OK, so over here, uh, second part, uh, in order to get another three SMB tickets, you will need to complete the daily missions 10 times. The daily missions are the frogs and the snakes missions. OK, and then over here, uh, you need to improve or enhance your ninjas meaning level them up 10 times so if you level them up 10 times then you get three smb units again it's only when you're enhancing them it, they, they don't have to level up you just need to feed them just feed them 10 times just feed them 10 times separately then bam you get three tickets and then over here um you need to awaken your ninjas three times okay so just pick any three random ninjas just awaken them three times you can awaken three different ninjas or one ninja three times doesn't matter three times then you get three extra smb folding units i mean folding tickets and then over here you need to sell 10 times so for example you have 10 frogs to sell just sell them each uh one time each uh add up to 10 times you don't have to sell them all 10 at once just sell them up to 10 times all right then you get three smb tickets and finally you need to do your friend gacha poll 20 times just do 20 single 
friend gacha polls. That's it. You don't have to do multis, okay? Then that will get you three SMB tickets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six times three, that's 18 tickets right there, all right? So that's all the three ways to get your uh, tickets, okay? Daily logins, challenges, and and the trading shop, Ninja Mileage Trading Shop, okay? So that's how you get your tickets, and then that's how you get your reward by doing daily uh login all right so now i'll go through the six scenes all right actually before that here is why we need to vote for them okay first uh is this when you vote for them uh the top two scenes that uh you know that's top two will be made into an event as well as a gacha all right so the top two voted scenes will be made into event and gotcha so the first thing you need to know is they will select two scenes secondly is after the final results uh have shown then they will aim to take two months all right so after that after two months then they will implement or make it into the event and gotcha all right so again if you guys take a look at the time this event will end on december 5th then it will probably take them one to three days before they can get their uh, charts up. Usually it's only one or two days. And then that's like what? December 7th, right? And then two months after. So we're looking into February and judging or basing on our previous experience on how they handle the SMB stuff. They will take a lot of time. So maybe we're looking at either middle or the end of February when we're getting the new gacha event. All right. So. So yeah, just keep that in mind so we don't get spams in, in the comment section every single month or every single video asking when are we getting the SMB stuff, all right? So over here, we have six different scenes. The first one is when they need to protect that person from uh, that special country. I totally forgot. That's when they first encountered, well, first and last time, they encountered Zabuza and Haku because they die, right? All right, so it's too bad I spoiled it for you. Uh, if you guys haven't watched this yet, but this is like the first 10 to 20 episodes. So you guys should have seen this. And if not, you guys shouldn't be playing this game. Well, actually, never mind. You guys can still play this game, but it's already spoiled because you can see the scene right here. That's when they are, you know, saying goodbye. All right. All right. So in order to vote, click on this uh, part and then select how many tickets or ballots that you want to uh, input. And then after you select it, click on the done right here let's say four click on done whoops i accidentally scrolled back and then click on voting tick uh the the button all right then you have voted all right the second part is tune in exam the second part of tune in exam that's when sasuke becomes evil or well he's always evil but just letting his inner evil come out uh and then being tempted by another sound ninja so yeah the road to being a loser right here this is the second part. So third part is uh, the third tune in exam part. OK, that's when Rock Lee's, you know, uh, fighting Gara. That's when the two girls fought each other. That's when when Hinata was, you know, having some realization of some sort. And uh, yeah, so nothing really much happened there. But anyways, you guys can always vote. Um, See, so yeah, I'll assume if you vote, you have some sort of events um, surrounding this um scene and then the gacha is probably going to be like kakashi or like haku or zabuza right but for this one this is going to be like your hundredth sasuke all right or like 20th curse mark sasuke and then uh sakura that's it right uh now over here then you might get something like sakura again Eno again rockley again who knows maybe the gaara who's not even shown in the picture or maybe finally a better version of hinata that we haven't gotten yet Anyway, so the fourth scene, we have uh, the collapse of Konoha. That's when the Sand Village attacks uh, along with Konoha. I mean, what's his name? Orochimaru. All right, doing this fight with the third Hakage. So that's something interesting, even though this is not one of my favorite uh, scenes of all time. This has got to be my favorite scene, everyone. Uh, scene five. This is the search for Tsunade. That's when... We need to, well, that's when Naruto uh, was in search of Tsunade so that Tsunade can be brought back to Konoha to 
Again, spoiler alerts, everyone, all right? So if you guys are totally new to Naruto, I am talking about the story, all right? So turn off my video right away. Spoilers alert. I need to go through them because it's right here, right? So I need to go through them with you guys. So, so yeah. Anyway, so that was when Jiraiya and Naruto went on an adventure to, to search up Tsunade so that she can come back to Konoha and become the fifth Hokage because third Hokage is about to die. Anyway, so this is one of my <clears throat> favorite scenes because if you guys haven't checked that out or if you guys don't remember, the fight between the kid Naruto and Kabuto was insane. It was so epic. He just destroyed everything, all right? So this has got to be my favorite. And then the legendary Sanin fighting uh, for the first time in the anime, I believe. And then over here, finally, at the sixth scene, all right, again, for all you Naruto, I mean, for all you Sasuke fans, this is where they had to well, where they went on the journey to look for Sasuke, to bring back Sasuke, right? This is where it says, bring back Sasuke all the way up to uh, the final valley, all right? That's when they met, and then they had this, you know, bromance moment, and GG'd, right? So that's it. Um, yeah, I actually don't know what the, what the current standing is, but I'm going to vote for the fifth scene, because that's my favorite. I'm going to dump... Well, I'm just going to dump like 30 of them. Why? Because I'm going to save one ticket for each day so I can earn my gems. Right? You don't actually have to save for anything because every single day you log in, you get new tickets or new ballots. Okay, but I'm just doing it just in case. All right, so now I click on the vault button, click, and bam, got my uh, daily gem right here. And I put in 30 tickets there. All right, so let's see what the current... See, I knew it. I knew it. All the Sasuke fans, right? So third day chart. First one, rank number one is the final one. The final valley, well, the Sasuke searching mission up to final valley. We have that one. Again, this is like our hundredth Sasuke. We don't need more Sasuke. Seriously, guys. If you guys voted for that Neji, cool. But if you guys voted for Sasuke, uncool. But anyways, uh, coming up second is the one I voted for. We have the search for Tsunade. That's definitely one of, you know, fan favorite scene, right? At least my favorite scene. Third one, Zabuza slash Haku. You know, no doubt that's really uh, significant. And then over here, the fourth place, we have, um, we have um, the collapse of Konoha. Fifth place, we have the third part of Chunin Exam, the one featuring the Hinata and the two girls fighting each other. And yes, Thank goodness. Sixth place, we have uh, Sasuke, you know, wrote to being a loser. That's my subtitle for him, okay? They don't really say that. But anyways, the the road to being loner or <laughs> is this one, the sixth place. Not so, not so good. But anyways, yeah, that's it for how to vote for SMB and stuff. Now let's move on to our next part, uh, which is the seven new six stars units okay so i've taken enough hits uh you know to sasuke today so that's all good i'm satisfied i'm kidding guys i'm really kidding you guys know i joke around a lot you guys even though there's no webcam but you know i'm smiling i'm just i'm just kidding i'm almost just joking playing with you guys just messing with you guys and girls because i know a lot of you guys are actually sasuke's fans anyways okay over here six stars minato all right his stats doesn't change but his skills does all right so first skill um time space jutsu trigger speed fastest chakra cost 60 what it does is it deals five percent plus one thousand damage to eight well to well hits eight times to random targets so he can hit eight times all in the same target or hit eight times to three separate targets or eight times on two targets or all on five targets okay so anyways random targets and eight times in total, 5% plus 1,000 damage each time, all right? Again, still, this is nowhere close to the six stars uh, exclusive legendary first Hokage that we just recently featured in the Ninja Festival. But anyway, still pretty good. <clears throat> all right, second skill, no type skill, trigger speed fast, chakra cost 60. This is actually pretty good. Uh, it buffs all of your team members, buffs their attack, defense, and agility by 60%. So that's actually very nice team support unit uh, that we have going on here. And then HP recovers by medium amount to your whole team, okay? 
despite whatever uh, village they're from. All right, so leader skill. It buffs all Konoha village units, buffs their attack and agility by 15%. Ability number one, there is a high chance, all right, high percentage to dodge skills, all right, well, to make, to be immune to skills, all right, but there's a high chance, so there, there's a lot of times you don't take any damage. So ability number two, attack and space-time type skill damage is increased by 100%, and uh, still, again, no run skill yet. And then finally, he belongs to Kanawha Village. Now let's move on to Shizui, alright? Shizui belongs to Konoha right here. And then uh, let's take a look at his 6 stars version. Alright, actually wait, wait, wait. Was I talking about the 6 stars on this one? Yep, I was. I just want to make sure. Alright, let's go through Shizui right now, 6 stars version. First skill is fire type skill, trigger speed is fast, chakra cost is 40. What it does is it deals 7 percent plus 1500 damage to a single target enemy and also puts them under the flamed status, alright? And uh, when, they, when your enemies are under the flame status and then you use skill number 1, you will deal an additional 3 times the bonus damage to enemies who are already uh, set on fire, okay? Second skill is no type skill, trigger speed is fast, chakra cost 70. What it does is it recovers uh, your whole team's HP and chakra by a specially large amount, okay? Not super large amount, not like not like uh, Tsunade, but an extra large amount, okay? So again, I told you these are confusing. Sometimes they put large amount, sometimes they put... Uh, especially large amount, meaning like extra large amount. Sometimes they put super large amount. Sometimes they put super extra large amount, right? So this is extra large amount, okay? Anyways, just know that it's pretty good, but not like, not like Sunet is kind of good. All right, and also it will remove all your, uh, all your negative status effects. That's actually very insane, okay? HP and chakra recovered by an extra large amount and removing negative status effects. It doesn't even say what type of neg negative status effects. That just removes all type. Okay, so Shizui is pretty, pretty crazy support as well. Uh, and this works for all your team units. And then also, um, the only thing you need to know, the fine print, is that it does not recover his own chakra, but it does recover his health. All right, leader skill, it buffs all Konoha village uh, units buffs their max HP by 20% and agility by 40%. Ability number one, fire type skill damage is increased by 100%. And then also he is totally immune to negative status effects. Okay, so this is actually perfect. This is the this is the unit uh, that I've been searching for because. You know, sometimes when we're fighting against uh, bosses where they bind your stuff or they paralyze your stuff, and I'm always wondering where was that unit that does a certain thing, like not being able to be bind or not being able to get paralyzed and stuff when we're fighting Sasuke, right? But Shizui, he's immune to all negative status effects, and he will remove all negative status effects on your team, which is perfect. All right, so ability number two, after every action, there's a high chance that your next action will have your agility be increased by 120%. All right, so let me rephrase myself. So after every action, there's a high chance that you will have your agility be increased by 120% for your next action, okay? So only for just one. And that's it. So I didn't know Shizu was this good, but uh, now I know, pretty good stuff. All right, so let's see how they have uh, redeemed this second or third edition of fourth Hokage because this was not good. All right, so six stars version, first skill, secret type. I mean, sorry, my bad. No, <laughs> this is space-time jutsu, all right? Space-time jutsu, not secret type. Space-time jutsu. Trigger speed is fast. Chakra cause is 65. It deals 7% plus 1,500 damage to a single target enemy. And uh, your, let's see, and when your enemy is under a debuffed status for agility, they will be taking six times uh, bonus damage. And also, there is a high chance to cancel out that enemy's action. All right, high chance to cancel out the action and dealing six times damage if 
your enemy uh, agility is being debuffed at that moment. So that seems pretty pretty nice. I don't know how well it seems pretty nice on paper. I don't know how good it is like in reality, but we'll see. All right, second skill is also space time jutsu. Trigger speed is fastest. Chakra cost fifty, and what it does is it will boost your own agility and dodge rate by 70%, so increase by 70%. And also skill, uh, you will have a high chance of dodging incoming skills as well. That's cool stuff. All right, so notice here how you actually don't lower your enemy's agility. Uh, so in order to trigger the second part of the first skill, the second part effects of the first skill, you need someone else to debuff the enemy's agility. All right, so abilities, uh, leader skill. It buffs all black type attribute units, buffs the max HP and defense by 15%. And ability number one, after every action, there's a high chance that your agility will be increased by 120% for your next action. So same thing as, uh, well, similar as uh, Shizui, all right? So ability number two, space-time type skill damage is increased by 20%. No, 80%, all right? Uh, space-time skill damage increased by 80%. All right, we have Sasori over here and the six stars version. First skill is a weapon type skill. Trigger speed is fast. Chakra cost is 70. What it does is deals five times your attack damage as attack, and it'll hit 10 times in total randomly. All right. Again, it can hit uh, 10 times on the same target or on five different targets or on two, three, four, etc. All right. Second skill, no type skill. Trigger speed is fast. Chakra cost is 50. What it does is it deals 5% plus 1,500 damage to the enemy's whole team. And also there's a chance that critical hit will happen. And when critical hit happens, your damage is increased by two times. Well, critical, yeah, when critical hit happens, damage is increased by two times and also will put your enemies under the flamed status or blaze status. All right. So you set them on fire. Okay, so abilities. It buffs all Akatsuki team members. Uh, well, yeah, it buffs all Akatsuki team member. And uh, what it does is after every action, their HP will be recovered by 7%. Ability number one, he is totally immune to debuffs. And also after every action, HP is recovered by 15%. Ability number two, um, weapon type and no type skill damage is increased by 100%. And then he belongs to Akatsuki. All right. And then over here, we have the really nice, really good Itachi. So let's see uh, what he does. My first time looking at this anyways as well. So first skill is um, Tsukuyomi, Sharingan type. Trigger speed is fastest, chakra cost is 65. What it does is it deals 7% plus 2,000 damage to a single target enemy, and there's a high chance to put them under the black flame status, all right? And then uh, also, when your enemy is under the genjutsu status, then they will take two times the bonus damage, all right? So black flame status hasn't changed. Uh, there's a chance that the black flame will continue to deal damage per turn. All right. The only thing they haven't really said was if it affects their agility, because if you guys remember black flame status always, well, from Itachi anyways, will always lower their agility. So they get slowed down, but, um, probably still happens. It, they just probably didn't say it. All right. So, yeah. All right, so what's changed is the 1,000 to 2,000, and then you get the two times bonus damage now if your enemies are under Genjutsu. All right, so second skill is Sharingan type. Trigger speed is fastest. Chakra cost is 55. There's a chance that you will be able to debuff your enemy's whole team, uh, attack, defense, and agility by 50%. Again, how the AOE debuff works is that this uh, chance calculates based on each enemy all right so it's not a chance to cause every single unit 
to have the debuff on attack, defense, and agility. But sometimes, let's say four out of five members will get debuff and one out of five doesn't, or like three out of five gets a debuff, two out of five doesn't. All right, so it's random, but uh, they just want to let you know this is the AOE type of debuff anyways all right so this is to the newer players out there okay but if you guys have been playing this since day one you guys know this already all right so there's a high chance to cause genjutsu status to put them under the genjutsu status as well all right so what genjutsu status does is it will have a chance to cancel out their action that's pretty cool chance to cancel out the action so different genjutsu status are different right this, this belongs to itachi so that's pretty cool all right, so abilities uh, buffs all shutting gun skill damage. Actually, no, but my bad. Let's do it again. It halves all incoming shutting gun types damage. All right, for all your units, all your team members. All right, uh, ability number one. He is totally immune to shutting gun and totally immune to genjutsu. So if you guys are wondering why. Uh, his leader skill is like this because it's not for himself it's for his team members so it's uh, especially good when you're fighting against uh sasuke right who had, who uses shutting gun uh, but if he uses like kirin like electric type then it doesn't really do anything but if you're fighting against a shutting gun type user this halves all incoming shutting gun types get uh, damage for your team ability number two uh it boosts your own shutting gun skill damage by 120 percent and also after every action, there's a chance your HP will be lowered by 10%. Okay, so same thing as your five stars. And finally, he belongs to Akatsuki. All right. Actually, no, it's not the same thing as five stars. You actually take less damage now. So what the six stars version, you only take uh, reduced 10% of your HP. The five stars version, it reduces 15% of the HP, which is pretty bad. All right, so two more to go, guys. Two more to go. This video seems pretty long already. All right, so we have the six stars uh, Naruto with the nine tails chakra leaking out. Uh, first skill is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is fastest. Chakra cost is 60. What it does is it will ignore a single target enemy's defense by 30% and then dealing eight times its attack damage as attack. All right, and when you are well when your attack is under buffed is being buffed uh then you will deal an additional 2.5 times uh the damage all right sorry for that huge awkward silence pause there because i was reading this okay so there's two parts to this first part ignore the enemy's defense by 30 percent and then dealing eight times his attack damage his attack to that single target enemy and then it will buff your attack by 100 percent all right uh the last part is if your attack is already under the buff status then you will deal 2.5 times the attack so that means the second times you're using this attack then you trigger the 2.5 times attack because the first one is when you get your buff right the second times when it triggers the buff all right the the only exception is when you have an other unit buffing your whole team's attack then automatically his first skill will already trigger the effects okay so that's why i had to pause anyway so second skill wind type skill rasengan trigger speed fast chakra cost 55 what it does is it deals 7% plus 1200 damage to a single target enemy and also um when your attack is under a buffed status you will deal an additional three times the damage uh to your enemy all right leader skill it buffs all white type attribute units buffs their attack and agility by 15 percent ability number one after every action there's a chance your hp and chakra will be fully recovered that's actually pretty crazy after every action there's a chance your HP and chakra will be fully recovered. Fully, all right? So ability number two, attack and skill damage is increased by 100%. And also uh, your defense is decreased by 50%. So that's actually very bad because he already he already has a very, very low defense. He only has 5,000 defense. 
and to lower that by 50 percent you only have 2500 defense so one hit you'll probably die like five times all right because you only have 8000 health so he's a very very squishy uh unit i actually don't know how to you know uh make him viable maybe you need to uh, equip him with a lot of defense gear and hp gear to at least make him uh, able to tank a few hits or use tank units to tank uh damage right but again tank units usually only tank single target uh skills they don't really tank aoe skills all right so let's keep that in mind right all right so finally we have kakashi this is one of my favorite i voted for him uh, all right, so first skill, shut-in gun. Uh, it's your Kamui. And trigger speed is fast, tracker cost is 65. What it does is it will deal around 10 to 15% of a single target enemy's maximum HP as your damage, all right? So single target um, damaging skill, it deals the target's max HP, all right? But around 10 to 15 percent of the enemy's max hp as damage and then also it'll lower your own hp after you use skill number one by a bit or by a small amount it says and then uh, well it doesn't really say a small amount but anyways it says lessen your own hp but anyways it's capped all right max damage you can deal is 200 000, all right before this was implemented he could deal up to like 30 I mean 300,000 when it was like a five stars unit but then five stars is now capped at 100,000 now this one is capped at 200,000 still pretty okay so second skill is a no type skill trigger speed is fastest chakra cost is 40. what it does is it boosts your whole team's attack by 70 percent and also if your team members happen to be konoha village units then their skill damage will also be increased by 30 percent all right abilities leader skill it buffs all konoha village units buffs their max hp and attack by 18 percent ability number one for the first six turns all uh incoming skill damage are halved all right and then ability number two shutting gun type skill damage is increased by 50 percent and then he belongs to konoha and i didn't actually check out naruto but obviously he belongs to konoha right here and so and uh, Itachi belongs to Akatsuki, right? For that one. Even though he truly belongs to Konoha. But anyways. Uh, finally, we have the SMB battle mission, all right? So if you guys go to your um, uh, event missions, you guys will see this uh, there. So this will last until December 5th, all right? So all you need to do is get enough points. Well, I believe it's points, but uh, let's let's go there. Let's just go there. So I don't get uh, wrong information to you guys. All right. So over here, click on the second one. There's still four days and one hour left from right now from the time of recording. And um, yeah, so you just get stuff. You actually don't get points, huh? Yeah, you don't get points. You just need to keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. And eventually you will probably get the gear. So I'm just going to go through the gear. Um, and you guys, good luck on on defeating the the enemies all right so here we go i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about all the gear right now all right so we have the special kunai all right so we have special kunai for for takage what it does is agility is increased by 10 percent. this is the regular normal effect the unique effect is when you equip this to the following uh for takages agility will be increased by 30 percent and also your skills random damage hit count will be increased by two all right so this is something new so remember uh the first version for takage he hits eight times randomly right so now instead of eight times the hit count is increased by two meaning he'll hit uh 10 times now all right um yeah so that's it for that one so that really only affects um the fourth akage is that has that random effect All right and over here with minato's headband chakra cost is decreased by 10 percent but if you equip this to the following um minato's chakra cost is decreased by 30 percent and also skill damage is increased by 40 percent and then over here we have sasori's puppet all right so attack is increased by 40 percent 
the unique effect is attack is increased by 50%, and also the skill's random uh, damage hit count is increased by 3 now. So that, again, affects the 1,000 puppet sorcery. Instead of 10 times, it now is, what, 10 plus 3, 13 times, all right? Okay, and then over here, we have, uh, what is this? Gum ball. All right, this is his... Uh, ball when he was trying to learn Rasengan, his plastic ball, they, they call it gum ball. Um, anyways, attack and agility is increased by 20%, and uh, wind type skill damage is increased by 30%. But if you equip this to the following Naruto's, attack is increased by 100%, and agility and skill damage is increased by 50%. And then over here, we have Shizui's uh, knife. Attack and agility is increased by 50%, but if you equip this to him, attack and agility is increased by 80%, and also skill trigger speed is increased by one stage. All right. And then over here, we have Itachi's headband. Chakra cost is decreased by 10%. All skill damage is increased by 10%. But if you equip this to the following Itachi's, chakra cost is decreased by 30%, and all skill damage is increased by 50%. And then finally, we have Kakashi's mantle, uh, which is his uh, Hokage's thing, right? No, actually, no. I don't think this is. This is this is uh, his winter uh, cloak when he's on the other mission, right? Anyways, either way, uh, lightning type skill damage is ha uh, is lessened, right? So incoming lightning type skill damage is lessened, and max HP is increased by twenty percent. If you equip this to the following Kakashi's max, sorry. Um, lightning type, incoming lightning type skill damage and paralysis are halved and your max HP and agility is increased by 40%. All right, and that's it. Yay, I have covered all of the things uh, up to date. So I think, I think I have caught up to everything for Naruto Shinobi Collection. And then I'll work on the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Blazing, all right? And then finally, I'll be uh, working on editing the, the second part of the tutorial for my Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Again, I was moving, right, for the past two weeks. No time to play anything uh, except for Pokemon Sun and Moon because they have came out. So I uh, purchased it and play, played a bit. But anyways, uh, that aside, right? Um... Yeah, that aside, I'll be catching up soon to the other games that I that I have always covered and stuff like that. And I'll be setting up my PS4 soon, and then I'll do some cool stuff, right? If you guys are Final Fantasy fans, uh, please, you know, check out my new and upcoming video. I think I will be recording it. Um, I have almost never played a single Final Fantasy title. The only thing I played was Final Fantasy IX, and that was Japanese, and that was when I was like, 10 or 13 years old or whatever i forgot how old i was and um and uh, that was like japanese and i didn't learn japanese back then so i was stuck in disc three and i couldn't beat it and stuff like that but anyways my wife got me a copy of final fantasy 15 so i'm pretty excited even though i have no idea what this is about at all so we'll see i'm like a noob and a total noob adventure uh but anyways enough of sidetracking Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more quality content. And as always, and as always, I'll see you all in my next video. Take care and bye now.